Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill and as you can see this is my desktop computer. The motherboard is an Asus Prime X470 Pro. However the process that, uh, that I'm going to show you works in most models, most uh, Asus models. Now if you have an HP or a, De or a Dell computer I have a playlist to do kind of the same so you can click on the top right of this screen for that. Now my computer is turned off as you can see over here. I'm going to proceed now to turn it on so I can show you what what displays on the screen. So after a few seconds, you're going to see this message, enter password. And as you can imagine, I'm going to type something I don't have the password. So this message is showing up right after I turn on the computer. So I cannot access the BIOS, I cannot go to Windows or Linux, any operating system that you may have. So there is nothing I can do. Okay, I cannot do anything with software, I have to do something with hardware. So the first step is going to do, since I cannot do anything, I'm going to shut down my computer over here. Now allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. So we're going to go back to the motherboard over here. So now uh, I'm going to show you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I'm not going to damage the circuitry. So after that we have to look for two pins somewhere on the motherboard. Okay and now it depends on the model. Sometimes it's um, at the top of the of the motherboard over here or over here and but in my case it's over here now i'm going to try to show you how it looks i'm going to add a picture of course you have to look for two pins that it has a label clrtc or clear time real time clock sometimes it says password as well and it has a jumper on it but for the all asus models i have worked with it doesn't have a jumper it's just the two pins. So now I was trying to do a close up, but it was not working. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is that there are two, uh, another pair of pins depending on your motherboard. So for example, in this case, this one, T sensor or te temperature sensor. So that one is not related to what we need. So you have to, again, you have to look for CLRTC or password maybe. So those are the right pins. Okay. Once you found them, we have to short them. So I'm going to do an analogy with my two fingers over here. So these are the two pins that are on your motherboard and we have to make them clo come close together uh, like this over here for a few seconds. Okay, but we cannot just do it, right? So we're going to use, uh, in this case, my flathead screwdriver. We're going to put between them and do something like this for, I don't know, five seconds. And then the admin password or the BIOS password is going to be reset. Okay, so I'm going to try to do a close up over here. I'm going to add a picture as well uh, and screenshot so you can see better. Now I'm going to, we are going to proceed. So you go between the two pins like that, and then you turn it a little to the right or left. And you wait five seconds, six seconds, something like that. And after that, the, of course, the computer has to be shut down and disconnected from the power. And after that, that's what we need to do. And we're going to check if the pa password is still there. Now, as you can see, I have connected to the power. I'm going to turn on the computer. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And now we, we see the ASUS logo. So that's good. The password is gone. And we see this message. Okay, so you can read that all, but it's just a warning. And we have to press F1 to access the BIOS. Otherwise, it's, not, it's going to be stuck there forever. So I press F1. And this is the BIOS. So from here, I'm going to go to advanced mode. From here, I scroll down to security. You click on that. And this is what I wanted to show you. So we have the administrator password and the user password. So the user password is the one that was configured on this computer, the one we just reset. Uh, that one, when you turn on the computer, it's going to ask for a password and you cannot do anything if you don't know the password. The admin password is the one that allows you to come where we are right now, to the BIOS. If only the admin password is configured, you, you can go to the operating system, Linux, Windows, and everything, but you cannot come here. So as you can see, the, user, the admin password or user is, is not installed, it's not configured because we reset it. So now we have to save it and go to exit and save changes and reset. Even though we haven't done any changes, we have to save it. Because if you don't do that, if you just go exit and I don't know, forget changes, even though you haven't done anything, the password is going to come back. OK, um, now, as you can see, the Asus is there and Windows. So I'm going to shut it down and we, uh, we are going to do the final test. So as you can see, the computer is stopped. And now I'm going to go to the left and disconnect it from the power one more time. Next, I'm going to 
press the power button for around 10 seconds to get rid of the power in the capacitors. Now I'm going to connect it back, as you can see it's on, and now we're going to check. So the video sped up in this part, the ASUS logo, no more messages, no more errors, and we are back in Windows. So that's how you reset the password, the admin password or the BIOS password on, a, a, on an ASUS motherboard, okay? So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.